Hello, this is Avenue X again on a super hot day at Hongdian. And today we're going to a couple of interesting places. I'll see if I can actually put it in one video. If not, we're gonna get separate videos for different places. Right now, I'm at the gate of. Swing it around, Qing Wanggong or the Qing Palace. This is where a lot of paradramas are shot, and you're gonna see this corridor that pretty much shows up in every drama that has an epic scene. Here we go. We enter the Qing Palace, and I know you can already tell it's super familiar. That. Also, there. How many dramas were shot here? <laughs> Sports field of Qing Dynasty, but I think in many dramas it's been used for soccer game. And those couple of towers are just so familiar looking. Now I'm switched to much more standard focal length, and it looks uh, closer to what it looks like in reality. The more honest size of it when you're standing in this place. I have a feeling that by the end of today, I'm gonna get so suntanned. I mean, in this weather, I don't think any level of sunscreen is gonna protect you from anything. Maybe just from summer. Completely cloudless. What a pain to walk in this. And we're heading towards the inner part of the palace. And to walk under the gate, you definitely have seen that being shot in dramas. Now it's shops on two sides, but I believe when they're shooting films or dramas, they'll just close it up. And yeah, this angle I definitely have seen before. So familiar. It's like going home. Every period dramas of Zhang Guo, Three Kingdom, Qing. Now, as soon as I turn, you're gonna, wow. <laughs> I still decided to do the super touristy thing, so I'm sitting in a carriage. I mean, it would be ideal if I'm dressed, but you know, have to make do. And let's keep going. Now we've seen the two big corridor. Let's swing around and see the palace beyond. This is also the angle and the shot that many dramas have done. Walking through this dark, under this gate. <laughs> We're gonna look at the. Look at the paving, it's actually quite nice. Welcome to the real palace. This is quite nice. I understand completely now why people shoot dramas here. It definitely looks good on camera. I can tell you, it looks better on camera than for real. Although we do have a contemporary building on this side and a Ferris wheel on this side, so needs a lot of digital help. We are gonna walk up supposedly, I think, 99 steps. I don't know if it's true. I'm gonna count it for you so you know for sure how many steps we have in front of this palace. Let's go, let's count how many steps. I'm curious. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Definitely doing it in Chinese, make it much more. <laughs> 65 already. It's true, it's 99. I counted 99 steps up here. Couple more steps and we're going into the palace. Okay. I think they shot um, Hero, that movie, with Zhang Yimou and Liang Chaowei and Chen Daoming in this place. And I'm walking towards East Wing where they're gonna have a performance of sword fighting. But. <laughs> Let's first look at this step, the staircase. This is also so familiar. I've seen it in so many dramas. <sighs> I picked a beautiful day for camera and a terrible day for me. <laughs> Although for different dramas, they may need to change the color of the architecture. That'll cost a lot of paint money. Get another shot. This bridge is in so many dramas. I've never been to this part of Zhejiang before and it's a really nice place even if you uh, don't think of it as a drama making place. It has beautiful mountains. At least recent couple of days gorgeous weather. Hot but pretty on camera. Look at that. We're heading towards the main palace hall uh, with all the pretty throne dragon and decoration and loads of tourists. You can dress up as the emperor and take a photo. And this thing has been going on since day one of the existence of Chinese tourism, but it's impressive that after so many decades, people still really buy into it. In Beijing, Forbidden City, when it's real palace, people do it. Here at tourist spots, people do it for fake. They still do it. They love it. I'm here during a weekday, so everybody I see today are elderly people. 200 for three photos. Seriously? 200 RMB for three photos. Wow. It's like what, 40 Canadian dollars for three photos? And it's cheaper than your graduation photos, but <laughs> still, it's pretty ridiculous. Elderly lady taking photos with a scarf is like this popular thing on China's internet. And I'm catching one in action. I 
I wish when I get old I can do this with my old girlfriends, travel together and have fun and be ridiculous. As a tourist, I am at the souvenir shop at the exit of the Qin Palace, and we have a lot of things that look very interesting and drama related. So let's take a look. Sword Dynasty, Joy of Life. This is Feng Zhou from 10 Miles. Su Xianshen, this is Mei Changsu. Uh, we have Hua Fei from Empress in Palace. I believe those are, <laughs> you know who they are. Hey, hey. Untamed. This is Yu Fei, Zhou Fei and Xie Yun. Hmm. Oh, oh, I see something interesting. Lao <laughs> Wangji, hello, how are you? Wei Wu Xian, hello, how are you? This is Yu Fei, this is Xie Yun. Wen <laughs> Keqing Tongzhi, Mr. Wen Keqing. So this must be Zhou Zi Shu. <laughs> Your CP is up there. Oh gosh, this Zhou Fei, she looks so crazy with her hair. I found something that is hellish. <laughs> it's called Kan Shu Chi Su. So this is totally on Mei Chang Su. And if you read the original novel, uh, that dessert plays a huge part in the plot. In the drama version, you just know that he is allergic. So I'm just wondering whether they have hazelnut in it. It's a uh, August made one. Hmm. Let's look at it. Let's look at the ingredient. Luckily, this one does not have hazelnut, so it will be uh, safe for Mei Chang Su to eat. Just by looking around this place and then seeing what I've seen so far today, I would really say Peng Dian is a very matured tourism place. They have figured out everything your route and where you rest, what are the uh, shows you can see, uh, the places you can see, and then stuff you can buy at the end of the day. And mm. it is true that this has already become a fully developed tourism place. And yes, I have a ridiculous filter slapped on my face to make me look better because right now I'm actually a sweaty mess. You're gonna look at the beautified version of me without the gimbal actually, I'm holding it with my hand, so we just have to make do with the shakiness. And that should be the end of our tour of the Qin Palace place in Hengdian. We will next be going to another place where everything in that place will be recognizable for Chinese drama watchers. I'll see you later.